I was looking at the Big Ben. I was like, the Big Ben is so long. But why are they spending over like 16 billion pounds just to replace like the lining of the clock? Mm -hmm. It was gold and they changed it to blue. Why are you spending so much money on that when you can spend money on like hospitals and stuff? Like loyalty is like staying like straight with someone, like being honest, like not lying to them. Because like, that's, not, that's not really being loyal, is it? My definition of loyalty is being respectful to someone. So technology can get addictive, and yeah. when it gets addictive, it gets bad for your brain. Yeah, that's pee. I think, like, I think they're doing too much with the technology, like, especially all the iPhone 16, 15. Like, come on, it's, it's the same thing. If we kept on going back in yeah. time, it would like, I think it would just mess your life up because like you're changing all these things, and, mm. and you learn a lot you, as well from your yeah, mistakes, innit? and you wouldn't get anything done. Yeah, me, me personally, yes, I think you wouldn't get anything done if you kept on changing your, your past, anyway. Mm. Life is for living, isn't it? Even if you have your bad days, your good days, it's still you're living, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what it is, you've got to live for a purpose, isn't it? Me and the teacher, and I go to um, the head teacher or something, and I tell her what happens. Yeah. They're, they're going to believe the teacher over me, even if the teacher's lying. For To them, in their head, the teacher's telling the truth because it's a teacher. How can a teacher lie? But a student's always a liar. Because they know the person for longer. It's so like the head teacher will know, like my math teacher or whatnot teacher, longer than I've known the head teacher. So no matter what I say, no matter what I do, they're always going to believe the actual teacher instead of me. Right now in this world, fam, if a ma if the teacher's even, the teacher's even saying like, yeah, 60, yeah, stay for 60, so bad, because bro, are they not seeing the violence that's going on, fam? Who's going to be leaving school without at, a phone? And it gets dark early as well now. And they're trying to say, once they take your phone, you're not getting it back. So you're trying to tell me, you want me to leave school late? You Bro, I could be going anywhere. I could be going to my nan's, nah, my nah, dad's. Nah, they're saying it. That I don't get twisted. I'm a student. They're teachers. I've got to listen whether I like it or not. It's reality, but Technology might be the death of us. Because, like, you know when you charge your phone, it, like, it emits radiation. Yeah. So, that like, like, radiation can affect your brain waves and that. Mm -hmm. So, like... Electromagnetic fields. Yeah. And also, like, it depends. Like, most iPhones are, like, made in different countries and, that, and that. we don't know what's in the actual iphone iphone mm. so if you got iphone you don't know someone tracking what you're doing tracking yes because yeah, yeah, yeah. if you know if it's someone that you're really close to and they're telling you something that's true you're actually gonna deep it rather than if someone if someone else like if someone else like i don't know like maybe like one of your parents say it to you, you might not take it in because that's that's what parents are gonna do they're gonna tell you the truth but if someone like a friend that's ain't got no blood relation to you tells you something that's true and it's like raw you're actually gonna think for a second like raw like maybe i need to stop this or wh whatever it is you're actually gonna think to yourself you're not gonna really think to yourself oh yeah my friend's gonna say something to me but when your friend actually does you're actually gonna deep it more than well, if a parent says it maybe if a cousin says it you might deep it but parents i feel like rather parents and friends if a friend says something that a parent will say you'll more take it in from the friends it's, it's I think because usually you get like constructive like constructive um, criticism from your parents pretty much every single day. So you're so used to it. So getting that from your friend is almost like, well, I'm not really used to you talking to me in this type of way. So let me actually listen to what he's, he's saying innit, and take it in. Mm -hmm. You yeah, can yeah, tell yeah. by yourself what is a negative like, influence. Like, Trust, nobody's so kids. Right. Like, no, like, you can tell. So it's like... Even if your parents say you don't chill with them, don't chill with her, you're gonna either way you're gonna do what you want. Once yeah. you tell your mum I'm going to meet John, you can go meet Bob. Your mum's still gonna think you're meeting John. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. once you step foot out of your house, whatever you're doing, that's all up to you. Wow, that right. same person that your mum said don't chill with, they could do a mad thing. You wasn't necessarily a part of the mad thing. You could get caught for the mad thing. And your mum's gonna say to you, well, I told you not to stay with them, but it's all up to you. 